My name's Tony Burton. Um, I do acrylic painting and watercolors. And one of the re main reasons why I did that, because when I was a teacher uh, at a school that didn't have ven ventilation, so I couldn't use oil paints. I was at the Woodbridge School District for 44 years, 44, 40 years, oh my God, 40 years. And uh, I taught from first grade through 12th grade as art teacher. Now the works that I do, uh, I used to do a lot of watercolors. I still do, I love watercolors, uh, but my style changed as I got older because uh, we had to do things quick. And also my style is I see, I see stuff on the paper or on the floor or wherever it is and I uh, redo it on paper. Uh, a lot of times I have people, my style is, uh, I have people make little lines for me and knowing the person and whatever the atmosphere is, um, I see a drawing, it just comes out automatically. Uh, I started art when I was real, real young, uh, probably about six years old. I did my first comic book, I wish I could still find it, called Super Hillbilly, because I love cartoons on Saturday morning. Uh, and then from there, when I got in school, um, I was a kid that was picked on all the time. During that time, they had little uh, uh, matchbox covers, little matchbox that you flip out, and they says, draw me. So I found out that I could draw them, and that what made me get popular with the group. When I was, when the school segregated, uh, when I went to the, uh, uh, the white school, uh, one of the reasons why I got popular is because in the art classes, I was the one who could draw, and most of the people would get around me and say, oh, that's pretty good, and, all, and say different things. So that was my out to be safe. Then also, uh, as I went forward, I met uh, different teachers who changed my life. Uh, for example, as when I was in high school, it was a guy um, uh, who saw my artwork and said, well, you're pretty good, you're doing this. Uh, and usually when, when you were doing drawings and stuff, people thought you were a little, uh, at that time, a little weird, but that was my out. Uh, as I got in college, uh, I found out that there was a lot of other people like me, and so I met my two friends, other artists, Mike Morris and Carl Williams, and we started to create, and, and we just had a lot of fun doing, doing different things. Uh, we all, then from, when we got in college, we met a crazy teacher named Mr. Tour Bassels, who uh, showed us that we didn't have to do the typical straight up thing, uh, uh, paintings. So we started to uh, create our own styles. When I started, when I got in high school, I found out that you had to do all kinds of styles because you wanted to make the kids feel good and you wanted to uh, make sure that they could do the work. So. Most of the time, there were all different kinds of cultures. Uh, I had to learn how to mix paints correctly. And some of the paintings that are on the back will show you some of the things that I, I, I did. Some of the things I had to change because at that time, it was a very mil militant time. So I was doing a lot of militant pictures, but I, I didn't show them because uh, I was a school teacher. I was trying to be, uh, uh, what's the word? I was just trying to make sure I had a job the next day when I came back. Um, the art for me is very relaxing. Uh, I get to do this now that I'm retired whenever I want. And the other thing that makes it good is because with this group of, uh, of artists, I mean, it's so nice to be with uh, some folks that are just like you. It's, it's, it's a great group. Um, I was raised mostly by my mother. So when you look at my paintings, a lot of times there's women involved in the painting um, because I like to pay homage to her and also trying to respect women um, 
because they have to go through a lot of stuff like multitasking and putting up with uh, well, like working, she worked three jobs and all different kinds of things. And uh, um, so that's why I did a lot of paintings with, with women. Uh, and then I started painting jokes, making fun of everything. For example, um, and show you later on, there's a picture that I did with, uh, I like to do characters like uh, uh, the president of Delaware State, because when I got to Delaware State, man, it was just like, wow, we're not in the country no more. We get to meet people from all over the place. I got my education. Um, and then when I drew the characters, for example, uh, like I always did a play on words, like the one in the back, like Michelle Obama is, it says first ladybug of the United States. Uh, and in Delaware, the state bug is a ladybug. So I thought that would be a nice little joke and, you know. So, um, okay, the paintings that you see over my shoulder are the style that I, I like to do right now. The one that's on top is, it says, uh, keep your effing hands off her. It shows you, if you look at it, the struggle of the, of the uh, runaway slave that's tied to the tree and the guy who's on the ground, the white guy who's on the ground, get ready to put chains on the lady and he has no sense of, well, I'm just gonna do this anyway. He's not even worried. And the guy who's pulling, I mean, he's stretching his body out of the way, he's almost to him. And what he doesn't see is that the chain is broke and the woman is coming up saying, oh, she's trying to keep her man from being hurt, but he wants to protect his wife or lady. The other one down at the bottom where you see the mother with the red dress on, um, and there's a boy in the ground who's kind of gray, represents, represents uh, the young man died, and there's a lot of black young men that, who are dying. Um, and a lot of people say, well, why don't you put the casket? Well, I'm an artist. You try to get the most uh, attention to what you're trying to say. And she's saying that I should be walking beside you, not on top of you. So that's the kind of style that I do. Sometimes I just go back and uh, just do more characters.